This is our final video for lesson 3.1. It's 3.1c. We're going to find angle measures with systems of equations and elimination. So that means we have two previous videos for this chapter that are linked in the description in the geometry playlist. Sometimes angle measures are given as algebraic expressions. We, when we know the relationship between two angles, we can write and solve a system of equations to find the angle measures. So here, the measure of these angles are given as algebraic expressions. Look at that, 10x plus 4y. That's the angle measure for this angle. And we can see this little box here that represents a right angle, a 90 degree angle. So that means if these lines are perpendicular, these both equal 90 degrees each, don't they? So what's the relationship for these two equations? Well, they each equal 90 degrees. Together, they would equal 180, wouldn't they? And we can just look at this and try to figure out everything we can about these two. We stack them and solve for x and y algebraically. So here is the steps for solving systems of equations by using the elimination method. The first thing we do is write the system, that's all the equations, stacked upon each other with their variables lined up. Number two, we eliminate one of the variables using properties of equality. Three, we substitute that value into one of the original equations and solve. Doesn't matter which one, just pick one. And we write the answers as an ordered pair. And number five, we check the solution. Now, we can also solve systems of equations by graphing or the substitution method. And there'll be a link in the description and at the end of the video to my Algebra 1 Chapter 8 that covers systems of equations, and it'll have those methods in there, okay? So take a look at this diagram. We solve for x and y, and because the lines are perpendicular, all of the angles are right angles. So we know that 6x minus 2y degrees is 90 degrees. We also know 3x plus 2y degrees is 90 degrees. And to write two equations, we set each expression to equal the 90 degrees. We see this little box here. We know they're 90 degrees. We know those lines are perpendicular. We stack the two equations and line up their variables. So we have 6x minus 2y equals 90 and 3x plus 2y equals 90. We add the like terms. We get 9x and this negative 2y plus 2y makes a zero pair, doesn't it? So the y is eliminated and 90 plus 90 is 180. Now, we divide both sides of the equal sign by that coefficient 9. That gives us, same numerator and denominator, 1x equals 20 degrees. We use one of the original equations with 20 in place of x to solve for y, because now we know x equals 20. We can use this second equation, 3x plus 2y equals 90, and we put 20 in place of the x, and we have 3 times 20 plus 2y equals 90. That gives us 60 plus 2y equals 90. We can remove 60 from both sides of the equal sign, and that eliminates this as a zero pair, and we're left with 2y equals 30. We divide both sides by the coefficient 2. We get 1y equals 15. Now we have our ordered pair. We know x is 20 and y is 15. And we check our solution by using 20 for x and 15 for y in both equations to see if the equations really do equal 90 degrees. I'll show you an example of checking it in a minute. Sometimes the equations can't be added or subtracted to eliminate a variable, so we multiply one or both equations by a number that will allow us to make a zero pair. If we've got 2x plus 4y equals 72 degrees, and we've got 5x plus 2y equals 108 degrees, we need to change one of these into a zero pair. And we can make this 2y, this positive 2y, change into a negative 4y if we multiply every term by a negative 2. Then we'll have a negative 10x minus 4y equals negative 216 degrees. So now we have a new second equation. Now we write the system, equation 1 and new 2, with like terms stacked. 
So now we've got 2x minus 10x gives us an 8, negative 8x. This makes a zero pair, and 72 minus 216 is a negative 144. We divide both sides by this coefficient, negative 8, and this negative and negative makes a positive 18. So we know x equals 18. Now we write one of the original equations with 18 as x and solve for y. So we could pick any one of these, like, you know, the original equations, not the new two. We would pick one of the original ones. So this is what we would have. We would have this 2x plus 4y equals 72 degrees, and the original number 2 equation, 5x plus 2y equals 108. We're going to put that x equals 18 that we found, okay? We're going to put that in to that first equation. So now we've got 2 times 18 plus 4y equals 72 degrees. And we remove this 2 times 18 is 36. We remove the 36 from both sides of the equation to make a zero pair here, and we're left with 4y equals 36. We divide both sides by the coefficient 4, and 4 over 4 gives us a 1y equals 9. We write our ordered pairs as 18 for x and 9 for y. We check our solution by using 18 for x and 9 for y in the original equations. And here's our tables for checking it. So we've got 2x plus 4y equals 72, and 5x plus 2y equals 108. We draw a line, we put a line coming down vertically from the equal sign, and we put in our values for x and y. We put that it equals 72. We simplify this to 36 plus 36 is 72, and we get 72 on the left and 72 on the right, so we know that it's correct. We do the same thing for the second equation. We put 18 for x and 9 for y. We get 108. This is 5 times 18 is 90. This is 18. We add them, we get 108. So 108 is 108. So yes, it checked out okay. And we can multiply one of the equations by negative 1 to make a zero pair and eliminate a variable. So in this system, you can see we've got plus 4y and plus 4y. And wouldn't it be perfect if that was a negative and then we would just have a zero pair here? Well, if we multiply each term of this second equation by a negative 1, we multiply every single term because that plus needs to be a minus to elim eliminate the y. We would end up with negative 6x minus 4y equals negative 112. Now we can take the first equation and this new second equation, stack them, and we can eliminate the y because now we have a positive 4y and a negative 4y. That makes a zero pair. That leaves us with a negative 4x equals negative 48. We divide both sides by the coefficient negative 4, and this makes a positive 1x equals a positive 12. And we substitute the 12 for x in one of the equations, doesn't matter which one, whichever one's easier, to solve for y. So I chose the first equation. We have 2 times 12, because that's what x is, is 24 plus 4y equals 64. And we remove the 24 from each side of the equation. You can say we're adding a negative, or you can say we're subtracting 24. It doesn't matter. It's going to give us the same thing. That's going to create a zero pair here, and we're left with 4y equals 40. We divide both sides by that coefficient 4, and we're left with 1y equals 10. We write our ordered pair. We got a 12 for x and a 10 for y. Then we check our answer like this, OK? So if this is still really confusing, you can go and watch that link of Chapter 8, the Systems of Equations. You may not have to watch every single video in the chapter, just the ones that will help you because you'll see about graphing and substitution also. Our next lesson is angles formed by parallel lines and transversals. We're going to talk about corresponding angles postulate. That's 3.2a. I hope this was helpful. I know some of you just needed a little quick review, which is all right. It keeps you on track, doesn't it? I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye.